Everyone looks at Zyoji in surprise and asks Lu Fan, Hey Lu Fan, look at your pet dragon. Is he doing something weird? There are so many flames around him. And lava is appearing in the sky so fast. Our hero Fan is also surprised to see him. For a while, Lu Fan also gets confused. But the next moment, he understands after seeing this form of Zyoji. And he says that Zyoji's level has increased. And Zyoji's form has become even more powerful, and now he has clearly become an adult dragon. Everyone is very surprised to hear Lu Fan's words and look at Zyoji, and they also get scared. Because Zyoji's flames were very strong. And then the captain says, Lu Fan's zodiac sign is actually a dragon of this level. This is a very good thing. The captain also gets surprised to see this and says that the flames that were seen just now were quite shocking. But I didn't expect the dragon's evolution to be so natural. And then he looks at Lu Fan and says that in order to ride such a wonderful dragon, you must have a special saddle. And you wait a minute, I'll arrange the saddle for you. Lu Fan waves his hand and says, There's no need for that, I just use my own stuff. And then the captain says, You didn't understand me. What I mean is that our Griffin Regiment's special saddle is military equipment that allows you to get 10% of all attribute bonuses of the mount, and which is very rare. Senki also looks at Lufan and says, That's right. Hey Lufan, listen to the captain. If you add 10% of the dragon's attribute, you will be able to use 10% of the dragon's power. Lufan reveals his divine saddle at the same time, and then says with a smile, this is my own dragon control sandal specially equipped for dragons. And I can combine all the attributes of Jyoji together, and my attacks can also be combined with dragon energy. The captain is very surprised to hear this, and he says how is this possible? Can 100% attributes be combined? Shan Ki is also surprised to hear this. Brother, how is this possible? Even normal attacks can have internal effects. What kind of magical device is this? Chen Khan stands up very carefully and says, Brother, you always open our eyes. You always bring something surprising. And then Jayoji comes and sits next to Lu Fan. In fact, her form had become very destructive and demonic. The captain coughs seeing this scene and he says, Hey Lu Fan, now that you have the saddle, when will you ride it? We are all excited to see it. And comparing this sand ride sandal to the griffin sandal, the griffin sandal is absolute rubbish and I still recommend it to Lu Fan. He gets embarrassed and turns red when he thinks about the captain praising his saddle. Sen Ki is also very excited to see this and says, For the past few days I felt like someone was stopping me, but now I see that everything here is of high quality. I would really like to have a saddle like this and our griffin saddle is rubbish. The captain looks at Sen Ki and says, You're dreaming about it. It's just for the dragon clan. Does your eagle have dragon clan blood? At the same time, Lu smiles and puts his hand on his dragon and says, Zyoji, I thank you for your constant support and helping me get out of the worst dilemma of my career. If we are threatened again in the future, we can finally attack together. And then he tries to saddle Zyoji. As he and the captain fight for the saddle, Zinkong looks at them and says, Stand still. And he looks at the dragon. And he says, stop making trouble and look Lu Fan. We are witnessing the birth of the world's first true dragon knight. Here Lu Fan sits on the dragon. The dragon's eyes start to glow. Lava appears all around him. Lu Fan raises both his hands up at the same time and divine light appears around his hands and he thinks to himself. This feeling fills my whole body with incredible power. And I feel as if I can destroy the world with a single wave of my hand. And this dragon saddle allows me to directly receive the power of the dragon clan. And then the dragon roars very loudly. Lu Fan leans back. And then at the same time, the system shows that Lu Fan's strength has now increased from 1412 to 10247 and stamina has increased from 304 to 10473. The main power is the dragon throw strike known as Breaking Sight. Dragon Sky Break, which is associated with dragon energy slashes two times in a row, when the dragon pet will make two claw attacks associated with dragon energy. The second power is dragon destruction. Change the hand to dragon hand and attack six times quickly. And when synchronized, the dragon pet will attack six times simultaneously. And this attack can be done with a sword. 
which is likely to cause more damage. And the third is Control Sandals. These normal attacks will be done with Dragon Energy, which will cause damage over a long distance. Everyone is surprised to see all this, and says that the Dragon Knight is a real dragon, and it is unique. The captain says that when Lu Fan saved me, I knew that he is stronger than me. But look at the difference now. We are all brave, but compared to Junior Lu, I feel I am very useless. Chen Kang was looking at him. He still had a sad face, and he thinks to himself that after 10 years of hard work, I joined the Griffin Regiment by enrolling in the Kinyan class of Longdu Academy. And this is enough for me to be proud of all my life. But today, looking at Lu Fan, it seems that all my hard work is in vain. Meanwhile, Fan was sitting on his dragon and trying his powers, and then the dragon flies in the air at the same time, which causes wind to blow all around and everyone's clothes start flying. Sen Ki sees him and says, Hey, what's going on? Meanwhile, Lu Fan holds the magic reins and says, Zyoji, is there any more fallen corpse coming? Let's fight now. Meanwhile, Zyoji's eyes start glowing and the lava flame starts growing very fast, and he says use concentration to absorb. At the same moment, Zyoji activates her perception. The main power of this skill is that Black Dragon can detect the position of hidden and disguised enemies, and the active use of this skill gives away the hidden and disguised position of all the enemy targets around. As soon as he activates it, a lot of figures start appearing around. Everyone here sits on the eagle and Shen Qi says, Can they really find the hidden monsters? Chenkin says look their secret is getting exposed. Shen Qi gets shocked seeing this and she says, Whether they are there or not, they are floating in the air. The captain gets shocked seeing this and tells that it is a kit. It is very dangerous. Please don't let them come close. The system shows that we know this insect as snow insect and its level is 85. And its main power is that it can hide in the air and snow. And the ice worm disguises itself and hides in the wind and snow without being detected. Actively attacking or taking damage ends the disguise. The ice worm attacks the target and sucks the target's blood. If it stays hidden in the wind and snow, it loses 10% of its health before the blood sucking stops attracting the target's attention for 4 seconds. The captain looks at Lu Fan and yells, Hey Lu Fan! This worm is a night monster that hides in the wind and snow. When you realize it's attacking, their blood will already be drained. Lu Fan hears this and walks forward with a smile. Because he already knows all these things. At the same time, he exposes all the kits and attacks them. And he says this is exactly what I wanted. And then he uses the dragon riding sandals. And he says to Zyoji, Zyoji get ready to cooperate with the cast of the synergy skill. And then Zyoji starts to roar, and then she activates the skill. Lu Fan uses the Duan Kong attack at the same time, and the attack is so dangerous that it contains dragon energy, striking twice in a row. When synchronized, the dragon pet uses two claw attacks infused with dragon energy simultaneously. Everyone is shocked to see this, and thinks it seems like it can handle it alone, and says this snowbug has killed so many of our comrades. Lu Fan has crushed them like a joke and has avenged all our dead comrades. Sen Ki is also watching very carefully, and she says, Lu Fan's work with the dragon pet is quite incredible. Chen Kong says, Captain Lu, if you keep it this way, we don't have to worry about the snow bug at all. Suddenly a lot of snow bugs attack them. And then he says, hey look behind you. And then he spins around them, surrounding them. Lu Fan was crushing them in the air very easily. And then he uses Dragon Shell, which can be thrown away after a quick combo. Dragon Pets can deal 6 spells for damage. And then Lu Fan uses the Wind to make 6 attacks simultaneously. He saves his teammates, and kills all the monsters surrounding his teammates, and they die screaming. And then after a while, everyone falls to the ground. And Lu Fan says that the last few icy packs have also been taken care of. Seeing this, Chan Kong says to the captain, that's so amazing, Junior Lu, I'm saved by you again. And then he says very happily, With the dragon perception and senior brother Lu's collaborative skills, we don't have to be afraid at all. Well done, Captain Lu. Hearing this, Sing replies, And she says you should have faith in yourself and not put Lu Fan in trouble to save your life. And you have to fight them yourself. Lu Fan looks at her with a smile and says, Captain Lu Zioji, and I have mastered coordination. 
And even if this blizzard comes, I can still take you on the remnant mission. The captain looks at Lufan and says I know you are fully capable, but look up. The starry sky in the far north is indicating a blizzard. Captain Liu looks up at the sky and says it is much earlier than we expected and the blizzard may come almost tomorrow. Zyoji is also looking up. And Senki says, What I was most worried about is probably going to happen now. If the blizzard comes earlier, we will have no time to return to camp. Chen Kang looks at them and says, I am injured and now I can't go back to fight. Lu Fan waves his hand at him and says, Everyone's high-risk snow kites can no longer pose any threat because the blizzard is about to come. And this is the right time to kill the ferocious beasts in the blizzard and a good opportunity to gain military qualifications to complete the remaining mission. And then he extends his hand and says to the captain that I believe I can lead everyone to complete the mission safely in the blizzard. Everyone understands this and Sen Ki also understands after hearing this. The captain extends his hand and says, I think you will not have any trouble here, no matter what the weather is, and then he extends his hand. I agree with Lu Fan. Friends, this chapter ends here. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to watch the next chapter.